Good day everyone. My name is Jill Ann B. Carion, and today's video I am going to report the maths by Francisco Arcelliana. But first, who is Francisco Arcelliana? Francisco or Franz Arcelliana was a Filipino writer, poet, essayist, critic, journalist, and a teacher. He was born on September 6, 1916. He died on August 1, 2002 at the age of 85 in Quezon City, Philippines. Arcelliana already had ambitions of becoming a writer early in his childhood. He continued writing in various school papers at the University of the Philippines, Diliman. He pioneered the development of the short story as a lyrical prosthetic form. For Arcelliana, the pride of fiction is that it is able to render truth that is able to present reality. List of his works, short story. The Man Who Would Be Poe in 1932, Lina in 1932, Death in a Factory in 1932, Frankie, A Clown Remembers, Divided by Two, and The Mats in 1938. The Mats by Francisco Arcelliana. Nana Emilia, the mother of the family, was given a mat by her mother. The mat was a gift to Nana Emilia and her husband Jaime for their wedding. The mat was used on their wedding night and on special occasions. As time goes by, the couple finally had their children. Everyone in the family had some time in their lives spent on the mat. Then Jaime, the father of the family, came home from work one evening. He brought home with him some fruits and different brightly colored mats with his children's name woven on it. After dinner, the father distributed each mat to his wife and to each of his children, one for Emilia, one for Marcelina, Jose, Antonia, Juan, and Jesus. The Nana Emilia noticed that there were some more mats remaining to be unfolded. As Jaime heard what his wife had said, he suddenly stopped and the different aura can be seen on his face. He explained that the three remaining mats are for his three children who died when they were still young. They might be dead already, but they should not be forgotten. The house got filled with silence as they unfolded the remaining mats. Those mats were not brightly colored like those of the other mats, but were deadly dull colored instead. Each names woven on them, Josefina, Victoria, and Concepcion. The last three mats with three dead names not seems to glow or shine as did the other living names. Family will always be most important in our lives. They may be gone or not, there's always a space for them in our heart. We can never underestimate family love, a parent love, is unconditional. Characters Mr. Angeles Head of the family a husband of Nana Emilia 
and a worker. Nana Emilia, a mother, wife of Mr. Angeles, Marcelina, the oldest child, and also a pianist. Jose, the eldest son, the second child, and the medical student. Antonio, the third child. Susana, fifth child. Alfonso, the youngest boy. And the other children are Antonia, Juan, Jesus, and Josefina. And the dead family members, Victoria and Concepcion. The setting of the story is set in the afternoon until evening at the house of the Angeles family. Conflict The main conflict of the story is Mr. Angeles versus himself because Mr. Angeles wanted to co commemorate his three siblings and he was so emotional that this sensitive issue must not be talked and that emotion craves to be expressed and so he find a way out to burst that emotion through offering three three mats for his three siblings which is Josefina, Victoria, and Concepcion. The plot of the story. Exposition. Mr. Angeles comes from a periodic inspection trip in Mariveles. During the trip, he writes to his family and gets them excited about the exceptionally beautiful and colorful mats he bought from an artist. The Rising Action Upon arriving, he gives the mats one by one to his children. Each mat is woven with his child's name and symbols. They are all happy to receive the mats. The Climax There are three mats that are to be unfolded in a loud voice. He offers the three mats to his dead children named Josefina, Victoria, and Concepcion. The following action. Nana Emilia, anguished, said he should not have both mats for them. But Mr. Angeles insists that they must be remembered. The conclusion. The children feel the tension and see the grip in the face of Mr. Angeles. And the, sadness, and, the, and the sadness of Nana Emilia. The father unfolds the three mats in silence. The symbolism. It symbolizes good health and refuge, a be, and refuge of being sick. For us, it also kind of depicts a symbol of suppressed sorrow and agony. As some of the children who took refuge on that particular mat died and were not fortunate enough to be rejuvenated by the healing powers of the mat. The theme, we must not forget and take for granted the people whom passed away because they contributed to our life and we must respect them by commemorating them. For the Angeles family, Mr. Angeles' homecoming from his periodic inspection trips was always an occasion and celebration. So that's the end of this, the short story, The Mats by Francisco Arcelliana. Once again, I am Jill Ancarion and thank you for watching my video.